Here. Quick release. Mom's got one. Like a decent fish. We're at Tanny Coma today and we've been fishing dry flies all day. The browns are starting to move up and the rainbows are already in here. So it's it's every man for himself on these 18 to 24 inch rainbows. Uh, me and Darren Taylor have been having a ball today with our rainbows. The browns are just now coming up and staging the numbers. Uh, fall colors are getting here early this year and the numbers of fish are starting to increase fast. I mean daily we see more and more fish up here. And less and less fishermen, as you can see, up and down the river, which this makes it a lot better for us to wait there. You seen Doc this morning? Yeah. Seen the feet he down. was uh, he was just standing right there. I seen Daryl up there. I There's Duffy. Got a double on. All right, well, like Tom said, we've been out uh, fishing today on Tanny, today, yesterday, and a few other days. Um, he said the browns are coming up and uh, We've been having pretty good success. We haven't caught too many browns yet. They're real spooky during the day. I think maybe nighttime will probably be better. We need to get down here at night. <clears throat> um, as far as the generation goes, they've been uh, having the water off in the morning until about noon. Today they're going till three, which makes it for a great day of fishing. We found the best water to be uh, where there was some chop on the, you know, a little bit of wind chop on the water, and that seemed to help with our dries. Um, the fish really gravitated going over towards the, uh, the wind chop. Um, also, you know, like going back to those browns, you know, it's it's the beginning of it right now. We should have um, quite a few more coming in as the uh, cool temperature cools off. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and book trips and, and get those scheduled if you guys are uh, out of town wanting to head, head here. Um, again, the dries have been the best thing. We've just been, you know, just catching a lot of fish on those dries. Um, either stripping them or letting them float. Either way, they've been working good. That's all I got for you right now.
Yeah, take your time with that one. Tom's got another nice one on, on a dry. There we go. Love dry fly fishing. Me and Darren Taylor today are ripping some lips. Tearing them up. We're not hurting them, that's for sure. But browns are moving up and the big bows are stacking up too. There's another nice one for the day. Got an injured jaw. Yep. You having fun, Tom? Always. Turn it up. Fly huh? fishing is the hottest thing you can do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like throwing dynamite in the water. <laughs> I know Darren's not having no fun. No. Can't see me, but I'm smiling ear to ear. Yeah, a good thing Jeremy and them took a break. <laughs> yeah, they got tired. <laughs> <laughs> We're just loving it. Beautiful day, fall colors. Big rainbows, browns are around, they're just staging right now, but we're just having a ball on the dry fly fishing. Another thing, a lot of local people are out here and they're fishing up and down the river and sometimes if you want to get into the good fish, you have to back away from these pressured areas. Also, you want to remember too, if you're from another area coming into this area, we do now here at Taney have the boot cleaning stations to make sure there's no diddy mulgets in the river or anything like that. So please pay attention to the billboards and don't ever forget your sunglasses, polar guys' sunglasses. So book your trips early and get out here and come down here and fish. Sometimes there might be a lot of cars up in the parking lot, but not a lot of fishermen. So always check out the water and check out the generation schedules on the website and. We appreciate your time, and y'all have a good time when you do come. If you need some help, just call Jeremy or email, email him at the website and uh, check out those Baltimore's. <laughs>